Good morning. Your social security number is a membership number for corporate democracy. Your social security number is what makes you a taxpayer, one word. So obvious, Lee, without it, you don't owe any income taxes. In other words, your social security number is a membership number for the corporate democracy government. The government is no longer a republic. If you got, if you got it, you're eligible for various government benefits, including welfare, unemployment, and licenses, but are also liable to pay taxes, fees, and fines, and to be arrested since someone has to pay for those benefits. And, of course, Federal Reserve Notes, FRNs, are another benefit of the corporate state, which has to be paid for, which is why they make it so hard for people to opt out of Social Security because they hold you tax liable for the national debt and having a social security number is the best way to make you pay your share of using their debt notes as money. Remember, what came first was replacement of honest gold money with Federal Reserve debt notes in 1933 so obviously the Social Security that came in 1935 was a way to get everyone enumerated with a tax number so they could tax your use of Federal Reserve notes, which the government calls income. Folks, Federal Reserve notes is not money. It's just a debt instrument, a promise to pay, just, uh, just like any, any other promise to pay. So therefore, your Federal Reserve note, dollar, is worthless. So issuing Social Security numbers to everyone, which now is done by default at birth, is a way of collecting interest on the money Congress borrows from the Federal Reserve, which is the national debt. And the Federal Reserve is a central bank. To get rid of your Social Security number, and become a sovereign free man or woman, visit www.strawmanmoneycredit.com or, or to pay off your debts without using Federal Reserve notes, go to www.debtloanpayoff.com. This is David Young again thanking you, and you have a blessed day.